Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Tactical Black Guy here, also known as Preston. I appreciate you guys joining me for another video. I hope everyone out there had a very enjoyable Thanksgiving. Today, we're going to be talking about the differences and the similarities between the Taurus TH9C and the Taurus 809. <clears throat> but before I get into that, let's talk about the different versions of this gun. So you have a Taurus TH, which is a larger version of this one and then you have the Taurus TH9C. If I had the TH9 here, it would be very similar in size to the 809, almost identical. So keep in mind we're comparing these two guns and obviously this one is smaller along with some other differences that we'll go ahead and talk about. <clears throat> this will be a short video. I reviewed the 809. I currently have over 1500 rounds through this gun, not a single problem. I've done an unboxing video on the Taurus TH9C, and I'm going to do a follow-up review coming up here soon. So let's get into the similarities first. Both of these guns are hammer-fired. Both of them have an external safety on the back that also acts as a decocker. Both of them have slide lock buttons in the same location. Takedown pins are in the same location. Um, the accessory rails are in the same location. Obviously, there's more of a rail on the 809 because it's simply a longer gun. Let's do a size comparison. We'll hold them together here. And as you can see, the 809 is longer and wider. Now, the controls on the 809 are ambidextrous. That means controls are on both sides. If you look at the TH9C, the controls are only on one side with the exception of the magazine release button right here. So that is uh, pretty much it when it comes to how they're the same. One other major thing that's similar is that if you look on the inside, if I take these apart, the internal components are pretty much identical. Let's talk about... Um, the, the differences here. Magazine capacity on the TH9C is 13 rounds, and then you get an additional magazine with an extension on it, 17 rounds. The 809 comes standard with two um, 17 round magazines. Let's talk about the weight. On the TH9C, you have a weight of 25 ounces, on the 809, you have a weight of 30.2 ounces. Um, we talked about the, the capacity, the magazine capacity already. Let's talk about the barrel length. So on the TH9C, you have a barrel length of 3.54 inches, overall length of 6.85 inches. On the 809, which is the full size, you have a barrel length of 4 inches and an overall length of 8.25 inches. The MSRP, let's talk about that really quick. The price, the 809, which is discontinued by the way. It's kind of hard to find these, but they have it listed at 486 And then the TH9C, uh, $359 MSRP. Subtract 100 from that. You can find these locally and online. For much cheaper than those prices uh, would suggest. So when it comes to the trigger pull, obviously it's going to be different in single action and double action. For the 809, I could readily find this information, but for the TH9C, I couldn't find that information. So I'm going to take a guess. If any of you guys know the exact poundage of the trigger pull in double and single action, let me know. So. The 809 has a double action trigger pull of about 10 to 12 pounds and single action is from 4 to 6 pounds. And I'm going to go ahead and take a guess that the TH9C is about the same, both in single and double action. Again, if I'm wrong and you know the exact uh, trigger pull weight on the TH9C, let me know down below. Um, both of these are polymer handguns. But the grip is a little bit different. If you look at the TH9C, the grip is way more uh, pronounced and actually feels much better 
and a more secure fit in the hand. If you look at the 809, it has a little bit um, different uh, grip material here. So those are um, different when it comes to the, uh, the grips. Both of these have Novak three dot sights. And both of these can be shot in single action or double action. So that's pretty much it guys. I wanted to do a quick video. I've heard some people online saying these are essentially the same gun, but they do have a number of differences and they are similar in some ways. Um, if I've gotten any of the specs wrong, if I misspoke, don't hesitate to leave comments down below and I'll correct it. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm Tactical Black Guy, and I'm out. Peace.